There we go. Oh, we lost that fish. Are you serious? Damn. Did we? Oh, what? <laughs> Large humpback whitefish. I thought I lost a fish and then maybe I hooked onto another one. I'm trying a CRL Mars M1 4 gram. Nothing was working, so I ended up asking on Steam. And someone said, you know what? They were having luck with this spinner lure. I believe it is a spinner lure. So I'm trying that. Uh, there we go. This is my third cast and second fish on it. I am in the deep end just off of the dock. Maybe this might save us. Uh, Lake Whitefish. So the dock is right over there. We are, we are looking this way into the deep end. Let's cast again and see how it goes. Okay. Always hitting that right click. And oh, for this lure, um, <laughs> for this lure, since it's a spinner, I think, uh, jigging or all that stuff does not work. So I was right clicking for no reason. Okay, what is this? Large Lanook. Oh my word. 4.3 kg red caviar in purple color. It should be red as different. Nice. Oh, this is the... Yeah. That is sweet. Okay, let's start retrieving again. And remember, no need to jig step or right click this lure. So it is relaxing and straightforward. But oh man, look at that current. That current is insane. Gary. Oh, there we go. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and that is a large lake whitefish. 4.65 kg. This is pretty sweet, actually. Uh, five casts, I would say, and three fish already. Damn. I just threw and boom, we got a fish. Instant. Guys, I will go to the shallow end and use Asp number two, and we should hopefully have a chance of getting Taman. Uh, again, on Steam form, I asked. Well, I didn't ask, someone already had asked about Taman's. And that's what people said they were getting luck on. So we are going to do that uh, just after we catch a few of these guys here. I need to make sure this lure actually works. 2.9 kg pike. Okay, so Lanuk, whitefish, grass pike. So we have a nice chance of catching different types of fish. Humpback, whitefish as well. One, two, three, four, five fish in, I don't know, five minutes probably. Once again, right off the bat. I just threw it and a boom. Uh, I also did change my lure. <clears throat> so the Mars bars... <laughs> Uh, the Mars lure comes in three different colors. Large Siberian grayling. Nice. That is some really good variety here. Yeah, so let's look at it. Uh, rotating spoon bait. So I'm assuming these are spinners, right? Swinging spoon. What? Yeah, I think these are spinners. This shiny part is the one that rotates around against the current. So first I was using M1, now I'm using M2, and I'm just going to keep switching them out time after time. You know, after I catch a few fish, you know, I keep, I will change it to another color to see maybe one color is superior to the other. And not only that, but the M1 I was using before this, all of a sudden it died down. You know, for, well, I mean, for three or four minutes, I did not get a single bite. And now we switch lures and look at that large muxen. Nice. I love this. You're getting all different types of fish. Humpback whitefish. Regular whitefish. I don't know. That's boring compared to the humpback. Large lanook. That is super sweet. Uh, grass pike. 
Siberian Grayling and now a Muxen. So you can see the different colors too. Well, in this image, it's M2 and M1. So M2 is really catching different types of fish as well. There we go. So I casted before this, got nothing. And this is the second cast and we have something here. Probably a white fish. I think those are like the most common things here. Yeah, large humpback white fish. Man, this is sweet. This is sweet. All of them are blue. So as long as I keep getting them every, you know, one to three casts, like these fish are going to add up. They're probably going to be like, you know, 10 to 20 silver each, I'm hoping. And in a little bit of time, that adds up. Not to mention the rare fish that we end up catching that's worth, you know, like 50 to 100 silver. Look at this. Just cast it and boom once again. So, you know what? I was struggling with the Twist Nord. I was struggling with all other lures that you saw in my inventory. Uh, but this Mars Bar, just amazing. What's the last time, guys, you ate Mars Bar? I don't even remember it being sold in North America anymore. At least in Canada, I don't think so. Uh, I loved um, Mars more than Snickers back in the day. Ooh, large lake whitefish, 4.79 kg. Uh, I used to like Mars better because Snickers was way too crunchy, I think. And you used to, you know, like have it stuck in your teeth or something. And Mars was just right down to the point. It was chewy, it was gooey. Oh, he's so good. Uh, but I'm always in the minority, you know. Mars wasn't as popular as Snickers. And now I love Snickers. Don't get me wrong. I will. You offer me a Snicker or any chocolate for that matter. And I will never say no unless it's expired. <laughs> so I'll keep fishing, guys. Just a quick thing here. Look at that. That is the spinner. You actually see it. That's amazing. So that yellow spoon thing I was talking about, that is the thing that rotates around. Cool. There we go. I switched out the lure again. Now I'm using the M3, I think. And it's weird. After catching a few fish, it just dies out for you. Large uh, white fish. And then once you switch to another lure, another color, all of a sudden, you start getting fish again. It's so weird. So after this spinner dies out, I am just going to move spots a little bit. You know, go down a little bit downstream. And see if we have a repeat of what happened. In case you're wondering where I am, I'm at E7. And the map is Siberia, of course. Although I think anywhere on the deep end, this should work for you. Another fish. What is this? A lake white fish. Yeah, see, there you go. So I'm regularly getting fish again uh, with the change of lures. So M2 was the last one. Now I'm using M3 Mars. And all of a sudden I'm getting fish again. Yeah, another one. This might look a little bit big. You know, I'm surprised there's pike here. But pike do love cold waters, don't they? So I guess it makes sense. Large Arctic Omal. <gasps> nice. Wow, look at that. We have the whole shebang here. Whitefish, humpback whitefish, Lanook, grayling, muxin, omal, uh, pike. That's it, right? Yeah, that's like a boatload of fish here. Man, that is sweet. I think that's pretty much all the fish. I mean, white salmon is remaining. Uh, the taimen is remaining. Let me fish just a little bit more and then we will go taimen hunting. Yeah. Twister whitefish one. That's what I want to try, Lure. I need to buy that one because see the omal and the muxin both are caught on this guy. It could be this lure is also active. Always check your, your records board. By the time this video comes out, I think some of these lures might have changed till then. Hey, a small fish we have. Large, uh, sorry, lake white fish, and we got a piece of algae. So guys, I just moved spots. I just coasted a little bit down the river. And uh, that is another muxin. And look, I already got an arctic char. Unfortunately, it is a non-marker. That's actually our very first non-marker fish. 
uh, but we're already seeing a little bit of difference in fish variety. I'm still right beside my previous location, but I'm casting closer to this edge here. And I'm a little bit down the river. So I would suggest honestly anywhere in the deep end. Just throw it and see. If you're getting no bites, just move. Or uh, change the lure from M3 to M1 or M2. I'm on M3 still. If I don't get anything on this, I'm going to switch to M1 and see. Okay, maybe fish will wake up. Look at that. We got one already. Ooh. This might be the biggest fish yet, perhaps. Probably an arctic char. A taman? <gasps> That's a little large lanuk. 4.3 kg. That is sweet sauce. Wow. Imagine if we figured out a way to only get lanuks. Find a lure and location. That would be super duper pooper sweet. So I am going to keep fishing I think throughout the night perhaps. Yeah probably I have 12 minutes left. I have only one more ticket to Siberia so I'm going to use that one up too. And then I guarantee you guys I promise I will also fish for Taman. I just need to put these lures to a test. Make sure they're actually working and not just a one hit wonder. Aha, another larger Lanuk, 4.5 kg. We are 13 of 33 kg. Wow, do I actually stand a chance of catching a Lanuk? So the M3s have been catching them, and you know what? Maybe it could be the spot as well. I don't know, it's hard to say. Or it could be the time. Maybe during uh, around sunset time, or maybe during the evening they bite, I don't know. Uh, but that's the second one now in, I don't know, 10 minutes maybe, maybe less probably. Uh, so that is a pretty darn cool. Uh, honestly, you can get all different types of fish. There's no one fish I'm able to catch right now. Large Arctic Omal, 2.1 kg. Wow. How much was the other Omal? Large Omal 2.165. Oh wow, 2.164, 2.165. Nice. So what's the record for the Omal? Uh, Arctic Omal is 3.1 kg, so we're 1 kg short. Damn, we're actually doing good today, guys. I can't believe it. Ooh, that's another Lanook by the looks of it. It's actually the first one, I think, to push us the most. Because I can see our resistance line go all the way to, like, grayish color. Yes! 4.6 kg. That is the largest Lanuk yet. Cool. Oh, I'm so happy we're catching them, guys. Guys, look at the weather. Oh no. Oh no, we got a Taman. I think this might be a Taman. I was gonna say this didn't even feel like a big fish. And I was like, hey guys, look at the weather. Look how cool it is. We have fog. I just wish the sky would get covered. Uh, but wow, finally. I have to say this is a Taman. Nothing else can push us like that. Unless this is like a huge Lanook or an Arctic Char. Uh, I just hope it's a huge Lanook. Honestly, or a Taman. Not an Arctic Char. I don't want an Arctic Char. We've caught enough of those at Finland. Ooh, our 30 kg fishing rod again, guys. Not the 18 kg that we struggled with, with that. Okay, that looks like a... No, that's a pike. Wow. That is a pike. Not what I was expecting. 6.3 kg pike. I'm surprised it pushed our rod that much. I mean, seriously, look at that. That's 30 kg. So, and the fog lifted. They got so scared of my pike that it was like, nope. 
I'm doing it. Uh oh, I moved spots. So I don't know. I think I was just down here. And not any more. So uh, yeah, I'm going to keep fishing. And see how it goes. We got something. It's small, but... It is a humpback whitefish. Guys, look at this. Look at how many fish I have now. 109 kg of 150 kg. So the answer to spin fishing is... Whoops, not this. Answer to spin fishing is the Mars. M1, M2, M3. And just throw it in the deep end and keep spinning. And you will sure to catch fish. Let me go back. And I think I am going to travel down here. And spin... Uh, sorry, use the ASP for... Payments. Well guys, I have tried the shallow end of the river, got nothing there. I am now at 202.117 between the islands right here. And basically guys, the mouse lure, I believe red color is the only thing working for taimants. Uh, besides that, the only other lure that people have caught taimants on is the asp number two. I will show you in just a second. This one, asp TW2. Uh, that's the only other lure people have caught anything on. If you want big taimants, that mouse lure is the one to go. Uh, on asp, someone did get something big, but it spooled them. Uh, but you know what? In the end, it's... These guys are extremely rare. Uh, so in the morning is when they're supposed to start biting. So I think in the next few minutes, I should hopefully get a bite or two. So guys, I've already showed you uh, what lure is working. The Twist Nord. Uh, what is it? Uh, yeah, this lure, lure mouse is the thing that's working for tamants. And Twist Twister Whitefish 1 is also working, people have said. In addition to the Mars lure I've showed you guys. So I'll keep fishing till I hook on a taman, And then I can finally confirm that yes, the asp is working. Yeah, I got something. But it looks rather white. So I'm thinking, oh no, that might be a taman. No, that's a grayling. Yeah, that is a large grayling on the asp. I will take it. That's a nice surprise. I'm casting towards those downed trees. I'm assuming that's the ideal spot for taimants. They like shallow. And, uh, and, you know, like rocky areas and downed, I guess, trees and stuff. Uh, so I'm taking a guess. We're in the ideal territory. We're in the ideal spot. Thanks to the people in game chat. Who said this is the spot they were getting the taimants at? It is also becoming morning time. Hopefully we get a taimant soon. Come on, fishy. What could this be? Yeah? Could this be a taimant or just like a 6kg pike? Because I did catch pike and two more graylings here. Wow, it would be amazing if this is actually a taman. Can I actually get this guy? Oh yeah, that's a taman. Finally. It remains to be seen how big of a taman this guy is. 5kg, 10kg. Because they're extremely powerful even on a 45kg setup. Uh, it takes quite some time. To catch Tim. So, uh, yeah, we have a 30 kg setup right now. Even our 30 kg setup is no match. And you guys saw, like, for some reason, that 6 kg pike took out line at 29 breaks. So, 30 break basically is maxed out on the rod, on the reel. So I'm keeping it at 29. Or 19, rather. I don't remember the numbers. Yeah, 19. 19 of friction. So 20 is uh, not max. 20 is the max you can put before infinity. Oh, did I miss? Okay, no. For a second, I was like, ooh, what? 
Did I unhook the fish? This is gonna be it. Uh, yeah, morning time is when the strike. I was getting worried because it's almost 8 a.m. That's pretty late. But I'm gonna do my best not going on the boat because as soon as you go on the boat, the fish gets turbocharged. And it's just no fun at all facing the fish. So we're gonna stay here on the shore until I feel like, okay, you know what? We're really losing the battle. Guys, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below. I really appreciate all the support. I've been enjoying this game so much. And I just looked at my profile and holy moly, I'm level 28 now, guys. Uh, so, uh, Serbia is where I can go. So this is, we're in Siberia right now. So uh, I'm going to stream Serbia and I'm going to have videos on Serbia as well. I cannot wait. And we almost have this fish here. There we go. That looks pretty big. 25 kg Tamen. What? That was way too easy. Wow. That was like hardly five minutes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. 25 kg Asp EW2. And you know what? I'm going to call it a day here. Because <laughs> I've been at this for uh, one and a half hour. Uh, yeah, you know what? We've been here one hour, 20 minutes, I would say. We had 20 minutes, 23 minutes from before when I started fishing. And then I used up my two hours. So we have one hour, eight minute left. One hour, 20 minutes, whatever you want to call it. And this is all we've had in one hour, 20 and it's uh but there you go if you want to fish for taman come right here cast towards the trees uh it is i8 i9 and cast towards the trees asp tw2 or if you are rich you can buy or get the mouse red i will just show you right here uh the mouse lure red one you need 30 tournament tokens. I only have 11. Okay, and that's like the best thing. Ah, white fish number one, 15 tournament tokens. Yeah, you know what? That's not happening. That sucks. Let's go ahead and sell our fish. What? 1,000 silver? Wow. I was not expecting that. And you know what? The large Linux are the star of the show here. 70 silver, 72, 75, 160 silver. Yeah. So use Mars number three. Okay, go to close to the spot I was fishing at. And you are going to definitely get all of these. Wow, look at these graylings are worth so much. You're going to get the white fish and the graylings here and there. And somewhere along the line, you're going to get Linux inside of it too. And you know what? Wow, that is really good money. For one hour of fishing, I mean, it's decent money. Uh, but for how small all the fish are, it's pretty darn good. This tamen sucks. 80 silver for 25 kg. That is sweet. That I am surprised. I was struggling and just by switching up the lures, you can change everything. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed this episode. Once again, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below. Next episode, I am going to Serbia. Never been to Serbia. Uh, I am so excited to see what it is there. Is it fly fishing? Is it bottom fishing? What is it? We will see you next time. Until the very next time, guys, enjoy and see you in the next episode.